Today I'm gonna show you what I've been wearing for the last week. It's the Fitbug Orb, and I'm gonna do it next. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to the special media feed where I take a look at products and review items and of course talk to people. This is where you're going to be uh, hooking up for the CES action in January. So subscribe to the feed and on iTunes, uh, wherever you catch it. It'll also be up on YouTube. You can catch it there as well. All right, today I'm gonna show you this thing. I've been wearing this for a couple of weeks now, collecting my data. As you can see, it's part of my wearable technology phase of my Google Glass and now my wearable device. This is the Fitbug Orb by a company called Fitbug from the UK. And basically, they are part of the wearable technology trying to learn how we, uh, how we live, how we uh, move, how we sleep, what our cycles are like so we can better ourselves and get things going and be healthier in life. The Fitbug Orb is a different type of pedometer, adds a little bit more to the flavor. Of course, I had the Fitbug Air earlier in the year, which was basically a pedometer. You wore it while you walked, and then of course that sent a Bluetooth signal to a device such as an iPad or an iOS device so you can find out how many steps you walk. This actually adds a little bit more. It adds some goals and it adds a sleep cycle to it so you can find out what your patterns are, if you're sleeping well, if you're not sleeping well, and go from there. Let me show you how this works. Basically, the Fitbug Orb is a little disc, just like that. And this is something you can wear on your body. You can wear it like a wristwatch. They give you the wristwatch part. Uh, if you wanna wear it on your belt, uh, belt clip, they have one here. You can also put this into your pocket. You could also put this onto a keychain. You could also put this, you know, wherever you want, you feel comfortable wearing it. If you don't wanna wear it on your wrist, you don't wanna wear it on your belt, there you go. You can put it on, as long as it's gotta be on your body. That's the important thing. So it can kind of tell what's going on from there. So it's a basic pair up system. Now here's the deal. It pairs really well with iOS devices, iPads, iPhones. It has a harder time pairing up to Android devices. I know Samsung devices will pair up the Orb, but uh, like I have the brand new Nexus 5, it won't pair it up. It, it just it won't do it. Apparently it needs to be a shared Bluetooth uh, pairing. And as they're working, they're gonna probably bring that on board very soon with firmware updates. But right now I can't pair with my, my new phone. But I can pair with my iPad and that's, uh, that's an important thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the screen over and I'm gonna show you the interface that you see when you hook up the Fitbug. All right, here we have the Fitbug Orb. It's uh, actually on my iPad. So basically what I did was I went in the Bluetooth and I paired up the Bluetooth. I paired it with my app, which of course you can get on the iOS and the Google Play Store if you've got a phone that works with the Fitbug Orb. And basically you wear it and you let it, you just let it uh, understand what you're doing. For instance, it's basically in a nocturnal state. It's, it's recording movements that I do. So if I press this button right here, you'll see a green light show up. And then once that green light shows up, it'll actually start pairing with the, the device. And it, uh, it talks if it has any data to, to put in. It'll say data has been uploaded. It may take a minute or two to, uh, to, to show you that data. But it actually did update. And as you can see, uh, my total steps for today is 5,623 steps. My aerobic steps are 2,404 steps, which is great. Total time of 81 minutes. I went walking in the mall for Christmas presents. So I want a distance of 1.74 miles. And of course, if I want to see what's going on on any day, all I have to do is swipe through and find out my history. And that's over here on the history tab. And then I can find out I did 2,404 steps today. I didn't do any aerobic steps on Monday or Tuesday, but I did a total of 3,600 and 4,300. Now you should really hit a goal of 6,100 steps a day. That, that, that helps you uh, stay healthy. So, and of course you can take a look at some of your stuff, like for instance, back in May I did 10,000 steps a day. I walked for two hours to uh, get a little bit healthier. And as you can see, it, it's, it's totally filled up. We'll, we'll just take a day here, the 16th. Um, I hit uh, 10,000 steps, aerobic steps around 10,000, but it did, uh, some I've done over, some I did under. 
uh, 15,000 steps for, for 10,000, 14,000 for 11,000. So I was pretty healthy for the month of May. Afterwards, I kind of dropped off a little bit, but um, you can uh, you get some good progress. And, and this is back six months ago, so I could go back and take a look at what I did as to pose what I'm doing now. Now, there are some other options with the orb that the air didn't have, and one of them is called the sleep cycle. And simply, I go over to sleep cycle. Right now, it says zero because I haven't slept for the day. But if I go over to the month, I can go over, little take out last night, and it said that I slept in the evening for three hours, 19 minutes, with a sleep quality of 89%. If I go over here, it shows when I was awake and when I was asleep, of course, it's, uh, it's figuring from uh, when I'm laying down and I'm not moving too much to when I'm standing and maybe going to the bathroom or getting something to drink or something like that. It, it, uh, it tells me that the uh, mode was on at 5.31 a.m. And, and turned off at 9.14 a.m. And uh, times I woke up was one uh, and I was awake for about 14 minutes. Now to get that, to, to actually tell it I'm asleep, I actually take this uh, orb and I press the button three times. And what that will do is it will make the, the green light flash three, four, five times. And then it tells me that I'm in sleep mode. So I'll do that really quick. So one, two, three. And it flashes, as you can see. And then when I want to turn it off, all I have to do is hold it down and it'll eventually come up with the flashing again. And I'm out of sleep mode. Now, if I want to go into walk mode, all I have to do is hit it twice. And that will flash. And every five seconds, this will flash as it's expecting me to actually be walking and it will uh, it, it'll concentrate more on the walking end of things rather than the sleeping end of things. And then of course, if I hold it down, it'll turn itself off and then I'll be back into its nocturnal mode waiting for more input. And as I move, as I walk around, I don't have to be in either mode for it to, to recognize what I'm doing and it will try its best to understand how many steps I've done, how much aerobic stuff I've done, so on and so forth. So I have a, I have a goals area, which I can find out. I can set my weight and, and I can enter in my weight. I haven't done this yet. Of course, I can have more than one device set up. I have the my old Air set up on one and then of course the orbs on the other one. So today I did pretty well on my steps. My sleep cycle was okay. And I know that I'm, I've got a pretty healthy day ahead of me and I could, if I, if I get on the treadmill or if I walk around the block, I could finish this up with some good aerobic stepping and get my heart rate up for 20 minutes, which is what you really want to do every single day. It's called the Fitbug Orb. It's a great little device. It's a sub $100 uh, device that you can get now in the store. We got links over at geekazine.com. You can find out where you can get the Fitbug and how you can use it. They've also got some other different Fitbug devices, including the Fitbug Air, the Fitbug Go, and the Fitbug Wow. And that does it for this review of the Fitbug Orb. What do you think? Do you, do you have a device that does the same thing? Let me know. Tell me what you think about it. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll do a review on that as well. If you've got a product that you want me to review, all you have to do is Twitter me over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek, or geekazine at gmail.com, and we'll get your review on a future episode. Like I said, I'm going to CES. We're going to have tons of video, lots of interviews, lots of reviews. Lots of cool stuff in the month of January, so stay tuned to this channel because you're going to get it all right here. And until then, my name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out in whatever you do, and take care.